In this video, I will tell you about adding feature control frame in our AutoCAD drawings. And the feature control frames are added for representing tolerances and most of the geometric dimensioning and tolerancing information. So in order to add the feature control frame containing all of the GDNT symbols, you need to once again go to the annotate tab. Now in this annotate tab at first we need to add the normal dimensioning and I'll add the normal dimension the linear dimension actually in this drawing so I'll start with this first one now I'll click at the first point then the second point and I'll add the dimension now in this case we have the dimension but obviously we don't have the tolerances and all the related information in order to add that we can obviously add the tolerance as we have seen in the previous video but the more accurate or the more acceptable method of adding the tolerances is using the GDNT symbol or the geometric dimensioning and tolerancing symbols and that can be done with feature control frames so in this case I'll expand the dimensions panel and I'll go to this feature control frame option which is mentioned as tolerance so let's click on this tolerance and this funny looking geometric tolerance window will pop up now in this case most of the symbols might be unfamiliar to you but don't worry just have a look at these and if you feel really intimidated by this then have a look at the GDNT guide which was released by ASME so it has nothing to do with AutoCAD it's completely new topic as I've already mentioned now in order to start this we need to first specify the type of tolerance so click on this first box and it will show a list of all 14 symbols so select the type of tolerance from this 14 symbols so I'll select the position tolerance which is denoted by the first symbol now here a phi symbol will be added that is for cylindrical tolerance zone and now the tolerance value so that will be 0 0.02 in this case let's assume that it is 0 0.02 now we need to add the material condition modifier so when you click on this you'll see these three material condition modifier the maximum material the least material and the regardless of feature size so you can use any of these depending upon your component so I'll select maximum material condition now I leave this tolerance to and now I will add the datum so I'll add a as the datum and if you want to add the material condition modifier you can click on this and you can select it or you can click on this white space if you don't want to add any of these again you can add more datums if you want and you can add the material condition modifier for those datums as well now click on ok and add this feature control frame with its related dimension and now here we have it so in this case this can be read in this way the dimension of 76.11 unit has a position tolerance of 0 0.02 unit at maximum material condition with respect to datum A and B and obviously we need to specify the A and B datums now to specify A and B datums we'll use leader line and we'll learn more about multi leaders and leaders in the upcoming videos so for this case I'll select the leader and I've already prepared this leader to show the datums so I'll just click on this point and now here I'll add A as the primary datum and now I'll select multi leader and I'll add the secondary datum here as B now we have these two datums and this tolerance value of the dimension will be with respect to datum A and B datum A and datum B now if you want to modify this feature control frame you can modify that simply by double clicking on it so when you double click on this it will open the geometric tolerance window and you can modify and add more values to this for example let's say that we want to add a material condition modifier with datum A so I'll click here and add the material condition modifier click on OK and here we have it now let's have a look at this drawing so in this case also if you want to add the feature control frame you need to again go to this tolerance option and once again repeat the process so I'll once again select the position tolerance obviously you can select any other value and the tolerance zone the value of tolerance the datum which is A and now here we have this projected tolerance zone so if you have any projected tolerance zone you can click on this so that will indicate the projected tolerance zone and you can specify the height of that projected tolerance zone let's say that its height is 10 units so type 10 here now click on ok and add it 
with the dimension so obviously we have not added the dimension in this case and that you need to add here but you can add this feature control frame with this and here we have the datum so we need to add the datum here with multi leader so click on multi leader specify the datum wherever you want so in this case i'll specify datum here and here we have it so that was all about the feature control frame tool of autocad